Fi's YouTube channel. When life gives you lockdown, make lemons. That's right, everybody. In today's video, I'm going to be doing some lemon DIYs. I've entered a monthly DIY challenge hosted by Domestic Diva DIY, and the theme is lemon. This is also an open invite. Check out Domestic Diva DIY's channel. She shares everything from home organization, lifestyle, cooking, crafting, family, and DIYs. If you like challenges, Domestic Diva DIY has a community tab where she lists challenges each month that are available. If you like videos on hauls, DIYs and shopping, make sure to subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell button so you're notified every time I upload. With that being said, check out these lemons I made. For the first DIY, I'm using this pitcher that I got off the net. I got this frame at Dollar Tree, it was in my stash, and this ribbon from Michael's, it's Buffalo Check. So the first thing I do is I take apart the photo frame and I decide where I'm gonna put the picture because um, it wasn't a complete picture. So I decided to put the Buffalo Check ribbon on either side of the picture. So that's what I'm doing here. And then once I have it how I want it, I put the back on and I push all the little tabs in. I'm just adjusting the ribbon here because I noticed it wasn't how I wanted it. So I'm just fixing it. And then I flip it over and I just pull on the ribbon a little bit just to make it look tighter. I pretty much have it where I want it right now. So I just take the glue gun and I glue the ribbon bits that are sticking out and then I just press on them and glue them to the back of the photo frame. Once I have everything how I want it, then I decide to make a ribbon. So I'm gonna be using one of these Hawaiian lays, not that one, but the yellow, and I'm going to be making some little lemons. If you live in Ontario, Canada at the moment, we can't shop in the craft aisle. So there was no way I was going to be able to get some lemons. I looked on Amazon, but they were just too pricey. So I decided I can make my own. So I'm using these lay flowers and basically what I'm doing is I'm gluing all the petals. So I take a petal, I put glue, I move over the next petal onto that glue and then I put some more glue down on top of that and then I'll take another petal and I'll glue in on and it's kind of working into a rose shape. Once I get the rose shape, then I'm going to add some glue and close up the end of it. So I add the glue and then I just push down towards the end and then I scrunch up the tip and then it ends up more of a lemon shape. And here it is. Now you can take a green marker and green up either side of it because you know real lemons have those green ends on it. So instead I used these green leaves that I had and I just stuck them on with hot glue. And I did three of them. Each with their own leaf. The next thing I did was I took this piece of ribbon and I made it into a bow. And then once I had it how I wanted it, I took each of the three little lemons and I glued them to the bow. And once I had it 
how I wanted it. I just took another little piece of the ribbon and I glued that to the center just to complete the bow. And there's my bow all completed. So now I'm just gonna attach it to the frame. I just used some hot glue and attached it on. And here is the finished product. While shopping for essentials, I saw these bath sponges and I thought, wouldn't they make cute lemons? That's right, I'm gonna be using them as lemons. If you check out my video, May Day Basket and Maypole DIY, I made a maypole and I used this little topiary. So I just took the little flowers out of it and I put the little ducky heads, I mean lemons, into the topiary just with some hot glue. And there was a few spots that were bare, so I just added some more greenery. And then I continued with the lemons. And it turned into this cute little topiary. Then I decided it needed something, so I just gave it a little bow with the buffalo check ribbon just by tying a knot with a long piece and then I tied a knot with a small piece just above that. Once that was done, I decided to put it in one of those little terracotta pots and I just added some green foam inside and after I put the foam, I decided to put rocks on top, so I just glued some rocks. Here is the picture frame and the little lemon tree completed, and then I decided to do another DIY. So I had this sign, it said fresh flowers, and it was like a pinky purple color, but I wanted to color it blue, so I took these paint markers which I really like a lot. I got them at Dollarama and they work very, very well. So I just used that to color the whole truck. Well, most of it, except for the glittery parts and where the flowers are. So here's what it looks like after I painted it. And I'm just painting the under the rim there to finish it off. And then I decided I didn't want the glittery part there. So I took some of the Buffalo check ribbon and I cut it out f for the same shape of the rim. And then I glued it on and I did the same for the other side. And I had to add a little piece on because the ribbon wasn't quite as thick as the little rim was. So I added a little piece for the one part of the rim. Once that was done, I took a tissue and I started wiping off the blue paint to make it like a purpley color. And it was working out really well. It looked really good. So I went with it. And this is what it looks like once that was done. And then I had this eyeglass case that I got at Dollar Tree and I decided to cut it. So I did cut it in half and then I measured where I wanted it to go because I wanted it to look like there were lemons in the back of the truck. And once I did that, I did end up cutting it a little bit and then I just glued it on. It was pretty easy to do. The hardest thing, I found was finding the lemon items. And here's what the truck looks like when it's finished. Now it says fresh lemons, or at least fresh. If you like DIYs of lemons, check the description box. I've also done two other lemon decor 
DIY videos that you can check out. One of them is a collaboration and one of them on my own. Well, that's it for my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up if you liked it. And if you like to do challenges, check out Domestic Diva DIY, especially her community tab where she lists all of the challenges that are up for each month. And she is an amazing crafter and DIY. Make sure to check out her videos. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Check my channel very soon for Hall's DIYs try-ons in my room.